How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Built or Bought. In the last episode, we raced this Skyline GTR R32 against a Bugatti Chiron. Chiron. See, you guys told me how to pronounce it, but I already forgot. If you want to check that episode out, there will be a link in the description down below. Now in this episode, we have this. This is the McLaren 720S. More than 700 horsepower, lots of torque. It weighs just under 3,000 pounds and costs 430,000 credits in game. As always, we're going to be racing this thing in the quarter mile and the mile, and we're going to be trying to build a car faster than it for a fraction of the price. For this specific episode, we are going to be getting 20% of the 430,000 dollar price tag of this car. So that means we're going to be getting 86,000 credits to build a car faster than the McLaren 720S in the quarter mile and the mile. Can we do it? You're about to find out. As always, we are going to be starting off by testing the super, the, the hyper car in the quarter mile and the mile. Let's see what this McLaren 720S can do. 700 horsepower, but it is real drive, so it's not going to get the best launch. It's still going to be really fast though, so. Before we do any speed runs, I just want to drive it. I just want to hear it, like, oh, revving up to like eight grand. I believe it's a twin turbo V8. It does do donuts. Ooh, that's actually pretty good at drifting, or like doing skids, should I say. Second gear. Oh, shit. And it looks so good, too. Like, look at that front end. Let's see how big of a burnout it can do, all right? It can't do a burnout. It's got too much traction. That's, that's, that's a good problem to have, really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just pushes. Damn it. As always, we're going to be getting three shots to get the fastest time possible. So this is numero uno for the quarter mile. How do we launch? I'm going to get a nice mile launch. Or not. That wasn't great, I'll be honest. Not a good launch, not great shifting, but it still ran a 9.9. Nine. Wow. Under 10 seconds. 996. That wasn't much slower than the Bugatti, the, the than the Bugatti, and it's like a, it's like half the price. So buy this, not a Bugatti. Just, just, just want to throw that out there. I think I was a little better. Still all, spun all first. This is this is gonna happen. 9.690, The last one was 9.9. .9. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. 9.6, damn, that's really fast. Can we get better than a 9.6? I hope we don't, because a 9.6 is already gonna be like impossible to beat. 80 grand. That was pretty good. And 9.72, all right, a little bit slower, but better, better than our first run. For the sake of time, I'm only going to do one mile race, so this is it. Uh, what can we do in the mile? Let's get a good launch. Well, that was good. So I can tell you that this is going to be a good time. Quarter mile in like 9.796. Six gear, 170, 180. You can tell it's definitely not as fast as the Bugatti, this top end. But, well, we're going to get 200 by the end of the mile, though. Just barely. 201, 24.72. So we have our numbers. The uh, McLaren 720S does the quarter mile, 9.6 mile, 24.7. Let's build something fast for it for 86 grand, for 20%, for a fifth of the cost. The McLaren is rear-wheel drive, which means we have to use a rear-wheel drive car. So let's go ahead and put the rear-wheel drive filter on here. The important thing here is that we need power and we need traction. We have to be able to get off the line faster than the McLaren because that's where the McLaren loses most of its time. It spins all first gear. After that, it's got 720 horsepower, 710 horsepower, something like that. We don't have enough money to do engine swap. We only have 86 grand. We don't have enough money to do anything, really. <laughs> uh, and we need it to be real drive. What 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 has a good engine and is real drive? All right. <clears throat> Alas. LS, LS power. All right, let's see if we can find something LS powered for under 86 grand. That's gonna be hard. It sucks because, oh, actually, Chevy Super Sport, 64 grand. That uh, comes with 415 horsepower. If we throw, throw some turbos on there, we can get close. No, not really. We need to be cheaper than that. If it was like 50 grand, I could do it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find any Corvette that's, or any Chevy powered thing that's 
not super expensive. It's dumb because if this was a normal Camaro, it would be you know thirty grand. But it's a anniversary Super Sport, which we don't care about. But Forza does. Yeah, Challenger SRT sixty-three grand. That's not bad. SRT eight sixty-two grand. Do I really want to do a boat though? Do I want to beat? Ooh, these things are so powerful. And it's 49 grand. That's not bad at all. Crown Vic, 25 grand. The 4.6 is not a good enough motor, though. We can't get enough power out of that with simple mods. Mazda Speed MX-5 is 25 grand. It's pretty cheap. I don't think we can get enough power, though. It's just too slow. RX-7, 54 grand. It's not bad. I'm thinking, honestly, our two options are go with an RX-7 or an RX-3, like an old Mazda. It's light and cheap, and hopefully we can get enough power. Or go with that, the a Doge. This thing weighs 3,400 pounds. That's not too heavy. I think this is, I think this has a better chance. Plus we, we went JDM last time. Let's go America. So, completely factory Super B now. What we're gonna go ahead and start off by doing is putting on some turb skis. Now, the reason why it's so important is you throw on turbos, you have, you know, plus 67 horsepower for two grand. So cheap, so, so cheap. Oh, by the way, how much did this cost? It was 49 grand. We have 37 grand to uh, upgrade it. It's not a lot of money, but it's a, de it's a decent amount. So, uh, turb, turb skis for two grand. The next upgrade we're gonna do is uh, uh, upgrade the turb skis, and that should just rocket the power. Plus 73, that's actually not as good as I expected. No! That's minus seven grand. Uh, one of the more important things is definitely getting rid of some rid of some, rid of some weight. Oh my gosh, English. So we're gonna do that real quick. Uh, I want to be able to tune suspension, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the suspension real quick. We can throw 345s on there for. Uh, Dude, if we went the 345s with the drag slicks, oh, it would grip up so well. Honestly though, honestly though, I think that's worth it because we already have 565 horsepower. Yeah, yeah we're doing that. So drag slicks. Plus 345s in the rear. Oh, big boys. Yes, that's what we like to see. That's 14 grand. 12 Gs left. 12 Gs left. Spend it all on power, I think. I think that's the way to do it. Uh, we might want a new diff. Well, we only need a one way, really. It's 1,500 bucks. All right, I guess we can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just spend the rest on power. Try to try to do the best power mods here, possibly. What is that? I think probably cams. Oh, 101 horsepower. Holy shit. For four grand? Hell yeah. An inner core would probably be important. 45 horsepower. That's pretty good. All right. Yes. Oil and cooling. Six horsepower. <laughs> and a carburetor? Yeah, a carburetor actually helps a little bit. That's six. All right. So that's all of our money gone. This is really good, guys. I think we actually have this in the bag because look at how much power we have. We have more power than the McLaren. We got more power than the McLaren for less than the price of... What? How? All right. Let's, let's listen to this thing. Oh my god, it revs so slow. Oh, the flywheel, it's gotta be so heavy. It definitely does not feel as lively as the McLaren. It revs higher than the McLaren though. <laughs> we have like a 40 year old V8 in here. Okay, it's not that old, whatever. Burnout test, it's not gonna do a burnout because it doesn't have, it has too much traction. Or not, okay, it does a burnout. Extra power, maybe? Oh my god, this thing is beastly. It's so big. Look at how massive it is, and yet it weighs less than the McLaren. Oh man. Oh, there goes the taillight. Real quick, before the real deal, let's go ahead and compare these stats for a second, all right? This thing has 733 horsepower, 733 pound-feet of torque, and it weighs 2,700 pounds. It's got 345s, it's got drag slicks. It should be much faster, right? Um, the gearing's a little funky, though, and I think that might be a problem. The McLaren has 710 horsepower, almost the same amount of power, but 567 pound-feet of torque. Quite a lot of, quite a lot less torque. It also weighs 200 pounds more at 2,900 pounds, um, but we'll see. It doesn't have as much traction, although it is rear engine, mid engine. So uh, yeah, our car has more power, has more torque, and it weighs less and it has more grip. So it should win, right? Let's find out. This is the first, first, first run. 9.6 is the time to beat. This doesn't feel like a nine second car, quite frankly.
Oh, it's so bouncy. It's too bouncy. Nine point. What the frick? It was so slow. Did that really just happen? How is it? I don't understand how it's so slow. I'm gonna make sure these things are right. Right? It does actually have 733 horsepower and 733 pound feet of torque. Why is it? It, it doesn't it launch. Uh, what the frick? It's, it's the transmission, I think. It doesn't, if the gearing's off, it shifts really slowly. What? One last shot, it's not gonna be any better. I just, I don't understand how it can be this slow. How can the gearing, what, ha, ha, ha! That was better. Ooh, 10.3, that was significantly better. Ugh. Well, we lost. So, uh, it's more than half a second slower, even though it's got more power and weighs less. I don't understand that, but we lost. We, we lost fair and square. It didn't launch as good as we thought, because I couldn't get the tune right, and it's it just it's slow, even though it's got 700 horsepower. I think it's the transmission. We're going to find out, though. That's what we're going to do. We're going to find out. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the transmission and see what happens. All right, so we're going to put in a new clutch. We are going to put in a new transmission. We are going to upgrade the drive shaft, even though that doesn't do jack shit. And that's it. That's all we have to upgrade. I didn't change the, the gearing tune, but I think it just... We'll, we'll see what happens. Right? What? Arr! I'm gonna upgrade the flywheel. Cause that thing is so freaking heavy. I think maybe that's it. Maybe that's it, huh? Huh? Let's just listen to how much better it revs, alright? Oh yeah, it's a little better. It's definitely noticeable. Still slow. I want to beat a 9.6. Last shot. I shortened the gearing a little bit. That definitely helped. Definitely helped. But it still isn't there. It's still five tenths of a second, half a second off. I, I, I don't I don't understand it. I'm honestly very very confused, but uh, what can I say a result is a result It's it's slow for some reason. I don't get it 733 horsepower 733 pound feet of torque 2700 pounds and it can't do a nine second quarter mile something's off you guys can let me know what you think I don't understand it, but we weren't able to successfully create a car faster than the McLaren 720s and the quarter mile on the mile for 20% of the cost we failed, even though we shouldn't have. Grr. Oh well. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, thumbs up, do whatever. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I would really appreciate that. If you guys would like to vote on which car you want to see next on uh, Built or Bot, then let me... Or, uh, I'm so tired and caffeine dehydrated. You guys can choose what you want in the next video. Do you want an Acura NSX or a Dodge Demon for the bot car? Which one? Acura NSX, all-wheel drive, lots of power, lots of torque, clean launches, or we have the fastest production car in the world, quickest production car in the world, to 60 in the quarter mile, whatever, I don't know, I'm so tired, I'll see you guys next time, peace out, and uh, yeah, goodbye.